Day 3 of the 2019 WSOP $50,000 Poker Players Championship is underway with Phil Ivey, John Hennigan, and Chris Fitch starting the day as the largest stacks in the field. Curb Player TV caught up with bracelet winner and WPT LA Poker Classic champ David ODB Baker to learn how he has fared so far in this event. Um, I'm okay. I started out uh, well day one, but in this tournament, day one doesn't really matter. It just matters not not losing. But um, yesterday was a super roller coaster. I went from 400 to 100 to 600 and back 500, which is a little bit below average. But the games we're getting ready to get into some meaty levels, so um, I could be out or have over a million easily in the next hour. So we'll see. I'm excited. We also asked Baker for his thoughts on why this year's running drew a record low turnout of just 74 entries, and if the format for the event should see changes moving forward. Well, that's a um, multi-tiered question. Um, as far as the games, I mean, I really don't care. I love the eight game. I I loved it in 2015 when it was 10 game, No Limit Deuce and Badoogie. Obviously, I finished third that year, so I, I liked it a lot more than uh, maybe others do. I think that those are good games to have in the mix. Um, that has nothing to do with the turnout. Uh, two things need to happen for the turnout to be better. First off, um, I really think that the World Series needs to put a priority on this tournament. They need to um, make the players feel special. Um, whatever it is, like just do different things. Instead, it's just a regular tournament. We have one, the same one poker news reporter. We've got uh, the same tables bunched together, um, you know, it just, it doesn't have any of the prestige that I think it deserves. That's the first thing that needs to happen. The second thing is why is there a decline? Everybody thought it was going to be an increase. I was pretty sure it was going to be a decline. I think I was the only one that really thought that. Um, and really it comes down to the fact that the mid-tier pro when I say mid-tier, I don't mean in talent. What I mean is that they're mainly tournament players and they're not uh, the cash game players. It's very hard to put up that 50, 50K. And uh, the way that the field has been going, it's a lot harder for them to sell and also sell at a markup, which allows them to play for any reasonable percentage when there's a lot of other good tournaments going on. So I think we've lost a lot of those mid-level players. And basically the tournament has just become uh, a tournament for the big cash game players. And then there's a few tournament players uh, sprinkled in, and then there's a couple guys who are taking shots that are, you know, kind of the negative EV players that you, I mean, you see those, those people in the high stakes poker world as it is, they're the ones taking the shots at the bigger games and that the pros have kind of made their money on. So I think we need to figure out a way to encapsulate more of the the tournament pros that come here and they dream of this event. Um, better satellites to it, must play satellites to it, um, things like that would would help. Also just making it a prestigious event on the schedule and not like crammed in between, you know, PL08 and RAS and things like that. And um, so I think those are the, the major issues. Finally, we asked Baker if the poor turnout for this year's PPC is an indictment of the health of the mixed games at the World Series, or if it's more due to the factors he listed regarding this specific event. Absolutely not. This has this is not uh, an indictment on, on on mixed games. The mixed game fields are up across the board at the World Series. I think this is just an indictment on the price point and the type of player that it's missing out on, and what the World Series needs to do to encapsulate and, and bring those players back into the field. Uh, every year, this was a can't miss event. I mean, if I didn't have the money myself and I tried to sell, like I would be like, I have to find a way into this event. Players have had that urgency for years, but the last, this year, and uh, I didn't feel that urgency amongst the community that they had to find a way to get in. And uh, I think that has shown up in the numbers. For more coverage of the 2019 WSOP $50,000 Poker Players Championship, make sure to keep your browser locked right here on cardplayer.com.